Well, good morning, everybody. I'm glad you're here uh, to celebrate uh, Mass uh, as we are going to be having a wedding here today at St. Wilfred's. Uh, so also in your prayers, uh, as we're remembering Catholic daughters uh, today's Mass, uh, we also remember uh, the soon-to-be uh, Kruger family, the new Kruger family for, for the parish. So let us uh, begin with uh, the entrance antiphon as we honor on Saturdays the Mary, Mother of God. Blessed Blessed are you, O Virgin Mary, Mary, by the Lord God God Most High, high, above above all women women on the earth. earth, For he he has exalted your name, for the grace shall be undying on on your lips. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess uh, to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words and what I have done and what I have failed to do through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask the Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and to you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. mercy. Christ, have mercy. mercy. Lord, have mercy. mercy. Let us pray. As we venerate the glorious memory of the Most Holy Virgin Mary, grant, we pray, O Lord, through her intercession, that we too may merit to receive from the fullness of your grace Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Job. Job answered the Lord and said, I know that you can do all things and that no purpose of yours can be hindered. I have dealt with great things that I do not understand, things too wonderful for me which I cannot know. I had heard of you by word of mouth, but now my eyes has seen you. Therefore I disown what I have said and repent in dust and ashes. Thus the Lord blessed the latter days of Job more than his earlier ones, for he had 14,000 sheep, 6,000 camels, 1,000 yoke of oxen, and 1,000 she-asses, And he had seven sons and three daughters of whom he called the first uh, uh, Jemiah and the second Kezah and the third Karin Hathik. In all the land, no other woman was as beautiful as the daughters of Jacob, uh, of Job. And their father gave them an inheritance along with their brothers After this, Job lived 140 years. He saw his children, his grandchildren, and even his great-grandchildren. Job died old and full of years. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Lord, let your face shine on me. Lord, let your face shine on me. Teach me wisdom and knowledge, for in your commands I trust. Lord, let your face shine on me. Lord, let your face shine on me. Uh, It is good for me that I shall have been afflicted, that I may learn your statutes. Lord, Lord, let let your your face face shine shine on me. me. I know, O Lord, that your ordinances are just, and in your faithfulness you have afflicted me. Lord, Lord, you have your face face shine shine on me. me. According to your ordinance, they shall stand firm. All things serve you. Lord, Lord, let let your your face face shine shine on me. me. I am your servant. Give me a discernment that I may know your decrees. Lord, Lord, let let your face face shine shine on me. me. The revelation of your word uh, sheds light, giving understanding to the simple. Lord, Lord, let let your your face face shine on me. me. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Blessed are you, Father, Lord of heaven and earth, 
you have revealed to little ones the mysteries of the kingdom. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, Lord. The 72 disciples returned rejoicing and said to Jesus, Lord, even the demons are subject to us because of your name. Jesus said, I have observed Satan fall like lightning from the sky. Behold, I have given you the power to tread upon serpents and scorpions and upon the full force of uh, the enemy, and nothing will harm you. Nevertheless, do not rejoice because spirits are subject to you, but rejoice because your names are written in heaven. At that very moment, he rejoiced in the Holy Spirit and said, I give you praise, Father, Lord of heaven and earth, for although you didn't uh, have uh, hidden these things from the wise and the learned, you have revealed them to the childlike. Yes, Father, such has been your gracious will. All things have been handed over to me by my Father. No one knows who is who the Son is except the Father, and who the fa uh, who the Father is except the Son, and anyone to whom the Son wishes to reveal him. Turning to his disciples in private, he said, Blessed are the eyes that see what you see. For I say to you, many prophets and kings desired to see what you see, but did not see it, and to hear what you hear, but did not hear it. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise you, Lord. Well, what we see in today's uh, first reading is uh, really the end of Job. Uh, where uh, we've been uh, reading this week about this man who has been tested by God. God has allowed uh, him now to be tested. And, and we always have to kind of ask ourselves, you know, why, why do we have such a cruel God? You know, geez, uh, why don't we just, why don't just let us uh, uh, be like the uh, old ox, or, you know, the, the cattle in the field, a cow or a uh, a bowl and, and and just leave us alone and 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 we'll just give him praise and and of course the answer what we see in Job is God says no no I gotta have you realize why you love me why you worship me that you can understand what what it is that and that is necessary to to have that relationship with me and it's not supposed to be something passive and I think that's the biggest problem we do have in the twenty first century so many of us want to just come to church sit in the pews and. And just say, okay, you know, I'm here, whatever. And of course, we see in Job a reverse, don't, don't we? God gives a test to him to say, do you love me because of the goodies I give you, because of the consolations I give you, or do you love me? And this is one thing we in the 21st century, especially as we're going through this coronavirus, is that God does seem to be pulling away from us. We we sit in a desolation. We so often feel like Job, and and we so, so much want to say, why why am I having to go through this? And of course, those who know the the experience of Job coming on the other side of Job realizes that God says, now now because you have been faithful to me, I can now have you realize for yourself that you love me not because of the goodies, but you love me because of me. It's something that be uh, to be a bit of a wonder. And that's what we also see with uh, uh, Jesus today and in, in the gospel. The disciples come back now, what? In consolation. Oh, look at all the things that we can do. And of course, what does uh, Jesus immediately do? Give glory to God the Father. He goes into prayer immediately, not making it about him, because that's what, they, oh, just by using your name, boy, the demons are subject to us. And Jesus immediately gives glory to God the Father. Let us look at Jesus, uh, and again, uh, with that example uh, of Mary, who herself was a lot like Job. How often do you see in the Gospel of Luke where Mary is always pondering these things in her heart? Whenever you see that in Luke, immediately think of Job. What is going on? Why are you making me go through this, God? But again, behold the handmaid of the Lord. I'll ponder these things in her heart, knowing, like Job, that when I get up to heaven, it'll be revealed to me. I'll come to understand. So, God, I will stay faithful no matter what this world throws at me. So with that now, with that mind in mind, we now turn to God our Father as Jesus did, giving him the glory, giving him the praise, giving him the thanksgivings for, for the blessings he has bestowed upon us, and ask him in humility to hear our prayers, showing, like Job, our reliance upon him in our lives. 
So Heavenly Father, we continue to pray for the successors of the apostles. We pray for uh, Pope Francis and Bishop Donald. Uh, we ask you, Heavenly Father, with all the apostles, that they be inspired by the Holy Spirit to always be giving you praise, thanksgiving, and worship, the perfect worship which you have established, and also to bring your church into the 21st century. So so much in the spiritual darkness, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And to that, Heavenly Father, during this election year, we have so many uh, voices and noises going on. So, Heavenly Father, we do. First, pray for those individuals who have been uh, given the responsibility of the common good. That the, our, our public uh, uh, officers will realize that by the example of Jesus Christ, they are to be servants to the servants, not Lord, Master. We only have one Lord, Master, and and true president, that's you, Jesus. Heavenly Father, by his example, may, may they learn to, to be like him in, in serving the people. We pray to the Lord. Lord, uh, hear our prayer. Now, Heavenly Father, we also now turn to you and on this day of Mary and ask you to remember to uh, those individuals who are at this moment being tempted by the by abortion that is on Saturday, that uh, the abortion industry is in full service. Heavenly Father, send Mary, who herself knows what it is to, to have a, a problem pregnancy, if you like, and be able to go to these um, women especially, to whisper in their ear, to, to reject our culture and death, embrace the gospel of life. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And yes, Heavenly Father, at this moment in front of the abortuaries, especially throughout the United States, we have those individuals that we call sidewalk counselors, those who are giving public witness to the gospel of life and praying for uh, individuals that are involved in the abortion industry and also being the, offering themselves to, as an opportunity to reject uh, uh, abortion and embrace life. Heavenly Father, we cannot be there with them at this time physically, but we can join with them in our prayers. So Heavenly Father, we do ask you to help them by the gift of the Holy Spirit to say the right thing to the right person at the right moment, uh, in at the right place and time. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Now, Heavenly Father, as Jesus reminds us, we do need to pray for our enemies. Pray for those who persecute us. And to that, Heavenly Father, we especially want to remember the doctors and the nurses and the administrators of, of the various abortuaries throughout the United States, that they too will realize the hideousness of abortion and to be able to reject the, this, uh, this culture of death that, that they pr practice and that they will also, uh, in conversion, embrace the gospel of life and turn to you, knowing there is forgiveness and also consolation and joy and in that conversion, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Now, Heavenly Father, we turn to you and on a local level. And do pray for our farmers and ranchers at this time. The harvest is here and it's getting colder and it's getting a little bit more difficult to bring in the harvest. So, Heavenly Father, uh, bless our farmers and ranchers. Keep them safe out in the fields as they uh, uh, produce this harvest for feeding the world. Heavenly Father, may your angels be with them, especially uh, with working with the heavy equipment. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And now, Heavenly Father, we present to you our Catholic daughters uh, who uh, serve our local community in uh, giving witness to the faith. We pray for living and deceased members. May all those who have died share the promise of eternal life with you in heaven. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Now we offer to you those individuals who have embraced the vocation of marriage, as we do remember the Krugers uh, today, uh, soon to be Krugers, I should say. Heavenly Father, bless them in their vocation. May they always in their life recognize that relationship that exists between Christ and the church, that of a groom and, and a bride and also grow in that Christian love, which is established by Jesus Christ in the sacrament. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Now, Heavenly Father, we present to you those petitions that are dearest to our own hearts. For all these, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. God, our Father, again, it's with great joy that we approach uh, you today, and also knowing that you do hear us when we call out to you. As we do go through our desolations, help us to always recognize your consolations to come. For we do know, like in uh, all things, all are offered to you through Jesus Christ, our mediator, our Lord, our eldest brother, who now lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all his holy church. We offer you the sacrifice of praise, O Lord, as we rejoice in commemorating the mother of your son. Grant, we pray, that through this most holy exchange, we may advance towards eternal redemption. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. And to praise, bless, and glorify your name in veneration of the blessed ever Virgin Mary. For by the overshadowing of the Holy Spirit, she conceived your only begotten Son, and without losing the glory of virginity, brought forth into the world the eternal light, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Through him the angels praise your majesty. Dominions adore and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exaltation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and drink from it, for this is a chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks to have us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Donald, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection. 
and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who please you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will. Live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world and have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. And again, if you turn to your word among us or you're living with Christ, let us say together as we honor Mary on this Saturday with the, entrance, uh, with the communion antiphon, all generations will call me blessed, for God has looked with only his holy hand he made. <clears throat> and again in your charity today if you will remember to pray for the catholic daughters from we offer this mass especially uh, uh those who are deceased of the of uh, the council or the uh, of the court
And let us pray. Renewed with this heavenly food, we humbly implore you, Lord, that having received your Son, born of the tender virgin, under sacramental signs, we may profess him in word and hold fast to him in deeds, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. And uh, just a heads up, uh, next week is clergy days. So next time we actually get together is going to be Thursday, Thursday at 5.15. So uh, I'll announce it at Mass uh, tomorrow as well. But uh, just a heads up to everybody. Thursday or Friday? Thursday. Yeah, I'll be back by Thursday. Oh, oh did they cancel it in there? Is it... Well, yeah, it says no Mass October 8th, but it says Mass Friday, October 9th. Oh, okay. So uh, I get maybe... The... Maybe uh, I can look right here, as a matter of fact. Yeah, they did cancel it. I will make a Friday. I don't know. I, don't, I can't remember why it was canceled, so I better not do anything so we don't uh, have any trouble, just in case. I try to celebrate Mass there. Well, let's ask you some, we'll see how it goes. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll announce it. Yeah, yeah. If I get back here, maybe I'll have Galen call out because it's. You know, Usual three, as we know, but <laughs> but but yeah, we'll we'll send out the word if, if something happens on Thursday. So I uh, will be flying by the seat of our pants, right, for Thursday's mass. But uh, yeah, for sure, then Friday. Thank you.